Fair winds, travelers, and welcome back to West of Loathing. I was so excited to play this game again that we had to get into it as soon as possible. So, we, when we left off last time, oh yeah, we gotta go and then start exploring uh, the, the outside of Boring Springs and start heading towards, uh, let's see here. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is go, I wanna get the Fricker Gang for, no, actually. I'm gonna do everything else first. Level up. XP. Gain some XP. You know, we got a mug. The Benjamin Crockett, he showed up way too early. <laughs> Bo Beauregard Skeleton, Captain, 3rd Cavalry. 18 This grave is really noisy. A skeleton! You're not getting past it without a sk- I mean... <laughs> I can just walk around it, but okay. Um, all I got is a plank. All I got is a plank of wood. I'm gonna shoot him. I'm definitely gonna shoot him. Wham! Oh. Yeah, see, I need to start getting stronger. Getting a match stronger. 3 XP. Let's go to your weapons. Yeah, that's all I got is, a, is my pistol. <laughs> okay. This, that guy just wouldn't stay put. Nothing. Your pulse quickens as you get near the spooky translucent horse. You approach the weird, semi-transparent horse cautiously so as not to startle her, though you quickly come to the realization that this is not a horse that startles easily. <laughs> Hello there. Hi. I'm a friend, okay? Nice. <laughs> That's a little strange. <laughs> how did you get... How did you do that without opening your mouth? That's a little strange. Oh, that's a little strange how you did that without opening your mouth. Uh, pat her on the nose. You pat the horse's nose, which is very cold. If you were going to ride her, you would want an extra saddle blanket to keep your butt from freezing. Pat her on the ho nose again. Yep, still cold, bear. Okay, yeah, I'm... Yep, still cold, bear. You get the idea. <laughs> okay. Here you go, girl. Have some oats. You ha you, ha you hold out a handful of oats for the horse, but she just sort of strays right through you. Burr. Please don't hug me like that. Snort. <laughs> Snort. Try the oats again. You hold out the oats again, but the horse continues to ignore them. What's the matter? Are they not spooky enough? I'm not sure how they make oats spooky. I guess they could put some bone meal on them. But I don't have anything handy to grind up bones with. Grave dirt? Moeny. <laughs> Is that a yes? Weird. Okay. Add some grave dirt to the oats. You sprinkle the oats with just a bit of grave dirt and hold them out again. The horse grazes expressionally at them and then eats them again. Hey. <laughs> and with that, she glides away in the direction of town. Okay. Bizarre. Bizarre. Definitely. Timothy Cochran. Oh. 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 The. Oh, Cochran. Oh. Devoted husband. Oh. That's so sad. That's real sad. Well, unfortunately, we're gonna go on over a lot. Out of the Thousand Snakes Gulch is where we're going. That's right. One of these rocks is really shiny. Grab it. You got an item shiny rock. Okay. Aw, oh, dang it. This snake looks sleepy, but not that sleepy. Tag it. Yeah, I'm gonna fight. fight. Got to jump on him. One jump on Well, yeah. Snap. I'm a snack a snack. I'm a snack a snack. Look, one venom, one medicine. Excellent. Another snake? Well, I guess it's not called one snake gulch. I guess that's true. Whoa, well, they're quick. See if we can get oh, I'm poisoned. I should be able to live. And I'm poisoned. Bam! Got him! Victory! Made sure to work that long snake. 
She's like, two venom and two medicine. Excellent. I got one more XP until I get the next level up. Uh, that's pretty great. Anything behind these bushes? Nope. This thing looks really angry. You're gonna need every trick of the book to beat this one. I'm good at tricks. Oh, they're quick. Oh, he does one more XP. Bang. I hope I can actually win. This is gonna be a real close battle. We'll see about this one. Bang. Victory is my law! Nice work. The whole cowboy thing doesn't work out. You could always get a job as a snake exterminator. Darn root! Rootin' tootin' dang shootin' the snakes! <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Click two venom and two medicine. Yeehaw, skill out. Good two. Excellent. Oh, look at this horse. This horse has gone snake crazy. Maybe he's just sad. Uh, what the fuck are you doing? Whoa. He was on some kind of crazy before approach him. Hey there, boy. Hey, fella. I'm a friend, okay? <laughs> so, uh, it's cool, alright? Be cool. Don't freak out on me. Winnie. Look him in the eyes. You come look the horse in the eyes. One of them is fixed in a glassy thousand yard stare, and the other is revolving madly in its socket like he's thinking of trying to escape in every direction simultaneously. He looks to be calming down a little now, that it is clear you aren't made of spiders, though. Uh, I'm glad I'm not. No, I'm definitely not. I'm real. I'm a real. I'm real. Conrad Framp is a real man. I'm gonna pat him on the nose. You carefully and gently pat the horse's nose, which twitches a bit. Okay, a lot. But seems to recognize that you aren't going to eat his eyes or suck out his soul or whatever madness is bouncing around in that skull of his. That's a good boy. Feed him the oats. Are you hungry, boy? I've got a little treat for you. He feeds the crazy horse some of the homing oats and it gallops away with a whinny. Or, or, or rather, a whinny argle. Hopefully he's headed home and not into, not into the 12th dimension. Cool. That's cool. That's cool with me. I'm cool with that. Ah. Okay, I guess we're done here. Back into the... We're moving through these things fast. We're gonna go to Orhole next. Oop. This is where Bill said to look. Oh yeah, that's right. He said look. Uh, Cactus Bill said look behind all those. Hey, he wasn't kidding. Not that this would have been a funny thing to kid about, I guess. You got an item. A shovel. Mm, okay then. There's still some meat ore in this cart. Dig through it. Mm, I can't get 50 meat. Oh. oh, there's a mug. Oh, I see it. Oh, there's a mug. Mug is mine. I think that was everything. I hope that was everything. Pretty sure that was everything. Uh Okay, I see what you're getting at here. Dig through that mine car. Unrefined meat nugget. Wait, wait, leave the elevator alone. I want to read it. Oh, I guess okay. Okay. Um Oh, okay, so this is a toolbox, but it's locked as soon as Give me that. Oh, we got a crowbar! Pretty nice crowbar. I'm gonna try to. Equip. Can I equip it? Excellent. That's much better than the broken board. Speak softly and carry a crude stick. Um, let's do. Let's just do level two and see what happens. Plunger, the sign line though. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll take one. Got a detonation for you. Now I need to get level one. Okay, boxes. These label these crates are labeled blasting caps. The period is part of the label, that's why it's inside the crate. Grab one of the crates open with your crowbar and grab a blasting cap. You got an item, blasting cap. Hey, I'm Sweet. Leave it alone. I don't need to touch it. 
I don't need to touch that over again. Can't get past this rebel. This looks dangerous! I'm gonna hook a plunger up to it, of course. Fighting against you. Ooh, wait. Fighting against you. Oh, I missed that. That's okay, you succeed again putting yourself in grave danger. This makes you nervous. Press the plunger. Whoa! Kaboom! Yeah, it worked! Here we go. Oh, jeez, what is going on here? What are you doing in here? There's still some meat ore in this car. I got 50 meat! Looks like there's something buried here. Oh, I got a silver nugget. Oh, whoops, whoopsie doodle baby. good. Don't go anywhere, horsey. Hello, Mr. Horse. You see the dark horse, barely. Approach her. Hey there, girl. It's okay. I'm a friend. The horse shies away from you. Though in this case, it's more like crippling, cripplingly introverts away from you. Reassure her. Oh, come on, don't be like that. Look, I brought some oats for you. They aren't poison or anything. Nothing. In, retro in retrospect, I guess that wasn't a very comforting thing to say. Pat her on the nose. As you reach out to pass the, or pat her on the nose, the horse ducks a step back. Oh, co oh come on. Feet of the oats. Take a handful of oats out of the bag and open it up. Here you go. Yum yum. What is that? Nay, I guess. She slides. What is it? Oh, snort. I see. She slides away from you warily and makes a surprisingly good attempt at hiding in her own shadow. Come on, please. Eat the oats yourself. Look, they're fine, okay? See? You take a handful of oats from the bag and toss them in your mouth. Oh. Like the roughest, blandest breakfast cereal you've ever eaten. Still, better than dry food. Okay. Better than dry cat food. Don't ask. What do you mean? What do you mean? Don't now? Nah, of course, I want to ask. You smile to sh you smile to show the horse you're fine, and realize that you've unconsciously turned around and walked out the door. Jeez, these are powerful. The horse looks at you warily as you re-enter with a cheerful wave. See? Fine. You're fine. you the old. Take a handful of those other bag home out the door. Here you go, yum yum. Snort. She's. Oh, come on. Pat her on the nose. Come on, please. The horse hunches her shoulders and seems to shrink slightly to pat her on the nose. But she doesn't actually flee, so that's something. That's a good girl. Remy. Pat her to the guts. The horse finally seems relaxed enough around you, so you offer her a handful of the oats. Wearingly, begrudgingly, she eats them. Then she gestures at something behind you. You turn to look around, but don't see anything. When you turn back, she's gone. Well, okay then. I mean, if it worked, it worked, right? Oh. Ooh. Oh, I need dynamite. You bend down the chain, you're like, you just barely make out a square shape down there. You, you fall out of her arm's reach. Looks like somebody dropped a small little box into the hole. You don't know how to but you don't know if it was a hydra discarded, but if you're truly desperate to find out what's in there, you could try uh, reasoning with a rock. Your primary argument could be a bundle of dynamite. Perhaps you could persuade the hole to widen enough to grab the box. I just need to get some dynamite. Uh, I don't know if that is going to help me in this okay, so I just need to find some dynamite. i got to remember that. Dynamite. Nothing left to take, right? I'm good. It's all good. So we're gonna go back to the town of Boring Springs. First, I'm gonna go talk to the horse. Oh, I don't know how you spotted her hiding in that mine, but thanks for sending back my dark horse. You gained 300 meat. Sure thing. Looks like my pale horse made it back safe. Thanks for your help. 300 more meat. Ooh, yeah. Anytime. Thanks for finding my crazy horse. He's in luck of weed, wasn't he? You gained 300 me. Not that I noticed. That's all of them. I can't thank you enough. Here's a little extra for you. Oh, a thousand meat total. Thanks. Afternoon, sir. What can you do for you? Can you sell me a horse? Sure thing. Should warn you, though. Horses get mighty attached to their riders. Once you bought one, I'll be able to change your mind later. What are you interested in? <laughs> Give me the one with the crazy eyes. I mean, I like that. I, I definitely like. I've got to go with that one. Give me the one with the crazy eyes. I'm gonna go with that one. Give me that one. Okay, gotta warn you, but this horse has seen some uh, some stuff. 
But I'll sell him for a thousand meat. Is something wrong with him? Not as such. He's perfectly functional. But, well, he's always sneaking off the thousands of snakes to gulch to chew on the local weed that grows there. That makes him see crazy things. I think it's more like he does it to forget about the crazy things he sees all the time anyway. Color me intrigued. I'll take him. Thanks, here's the keys. Ride safe. Ow. Ow. Ah. Sorry. You lose a thousand meat. I gotta na I get the name though? I'm gonna name the horse? Oh. So what about... It's gotta be just as crazy as he is, right? Like, it's gotta be... It's gotta be equally as insane as that horse, right? So... What is a befitting name for a crazy, insane horse? How about... This is hard. This is really hard. This is hard. Oh no. I'm having such a hard time with this. Um, I might have to cut all this out. <laughs> I know what I'm gonna name him. Hold on a second. I know what I'm gonna name him. I got this. Perfect. Hold on. You can't see it, but there it is. Perfect. No, this is perfect. Pelagius. Pelagius is perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. That's awesome. Perfect. Pelagius. Is that how you spell that name? Is that how you spell that name? Hold on, hold on. I, I, it's a good thing I looked that up. It's a good thing I looked that up. Perfect. Perfect. Yes, I'm sure. Plagius the horse. Oh, wait, man, I wish I could go back and make it the mad horse. No, it'd be the it, it'd be like Pelagius the bad the horse. It'd be stupid. So okay, it's good. Pelagius the horse, though. I mean, that's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, and I almost forgot. Every or uh, free with every horse purchase is a complimentary map. Yeah, an item. So the east west map, south east west map. Wait, I want to go back into the I. Okay. okay. Keep on going, cause there's more stuff to do. I'm gonna turn in. Just gonna cartwheel on over and turn in these beer mugs. 75 meat. There's a lady drinking. That's Susie Cochran. Are you Susie Cochran? How'd you know my last name? I saw the graves at the cemetery. I'm sorry for your loss. Susie scowls bitterly and mutters into a risky. I saw it happen. Saw the whole damn thing happen. Couldn't do nothing about it. The bartender said it was cows. Cows, right? I don't know what those things are, but they ain't cows. Not anymore. What happened? 
It was a raid, see. Mom and Pa used the ranch cattle back before, well, before they came home. Pa didn't make it, but Ma and I managed to rebuild. We ranched pigs instead. She left me the place when she passed. Go on. Well, I guess a passing herd sniffed out that it used to be a cow ranch, and they attacked. A couple days ago, happened so fast. I didn't even have time to get my rifle out of the gun safe. Cow smashed in the front door and a fire started out back by the root cellar. House went up in blazes just like that. What did you do? I, there wasn't anything I could do. Couldn't get upstairs to the kids because of the fire. And I saw Tim trampled right in front of me. I just... She drains her glass. I didn't want to talk about it anymore. I'm sorry, Susie. She feel, refills her mug from the bo from a bottle on the bar and doesn't reply. What will you do now? Head west, I suppose. Nothing keep me here and no desire to stay. Can't leave without my rifle, though. Why not? It was Ma's rifle. It's all I got left of everybody. Of anybody. Where is it? Left it at the ranch like a damn fool. Listen, can I ask you a favor? I need someone to go get it for me. Yeah, I'll go get it. Absolutely. Susie shows you on the map where Ranch is. You discovered a new map location. The Cochrane Ranch. I take my leave. I'm gonna go down. Did I talk to Gary? Oh, hey, hey, oh, it's you. Gary traveling with you? Far up and high away? Going, going, going? I'll let you know, Gary. I'll let you know, Gary. I got you, bro. Don't worry, bro. I got you. Gary, Gary the Goblin. I'm pretty sure Gary the Goblin's coming with me. Like, just saying. Oh, I can shovel! Oh, yes! Shovel it! Oh, yes, and I gained a level up from that. That is excellent. Nothing I can do with that. That's that's good. I'm, go I'm cleaning up the town one pile of poo at the time, right? Trade. Sit right up. Hi, Braid. I'll take some dynamite for this needle. No trade? No, thanks. Shoveling. What, is, what else do you want? Wait, 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 wait. I still gotta get those people. And we're just gonna cart wheel on the way down over here, see? Covered mug? Oh, I can't go to Topeka. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go to... I'm gonna go to the Cocker and the Ranch. Cocker Ranch that was 1891. All the wallet shops have been boiled away. Susie's ranch house has been burned to the ground. That's fucking that's terrible. Something behind this door is making some pretty awful noises to go through it anyway. Looks like somebody was in the middle of fixing a knife. Grab it. You got a varmint skin a knife. Look at that. Well, it's a little bit less, it's a little bit weaker, but with the varmint skin on knife, I can get the skin from things that feed. Ooh. I'm gonna deal with it. Bring it on! Bing bong, bing bong, I'm gonna stick you with a knife first, just because I want to make sure I can get it. If there's some kind of thing I can get from it, I want to make sure I can get it. Bam! That gun does a lot of damage. I'm gonna finish you off with a melee attack. Stick you right where it hurts. Victory is mine. Okay, I didn't get it. But... Oh well. It's Cochran's fa family's gun safe. Yeah, it's Susie's family gun safe. Susie's rifle. Is the only still standing? Can't look at it. Alright, well, I guess we're done here. Gonna head to the fucker game pad out. Wake him up. Uh, 
So the first grenades are trapped, look out, please be taking a little nap. Poke thug with your booty slowly gets to his feet. Hey, not supposed to be here. Thud is, well, let's say he's no Rhodes Scholar. If we assume that it's seven years from now and that idiot makes sense, you, you feel bad about the idea of killing him. Just walk away, Thud. Just walk away. Thud, you don't want this life. Take a hike. Okay, you're probably right. Thud stumbles off into the desert. He'll probably be fine. You got a perk, honorable. That's what's up. Let me, can, I, can I see what that actually does? No. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, I wish I had foraging. It's a pile of rain of stuff the Fricker gang stole. Finders keepers. You got a recovered mug. A pair of silver cufflinks. Yeah, that's. I'm just, just time up. Grab another like tear for the guys. The sheriff could come collect him. Damn Perfect. Let's sleep in bandits lot. Uh, excellent. You cautiously approach Fricker Gang. They're pretty engrossed in their corporate game, so it doesn't actually require that much caution. You okay. You hide behind a barrel of these off on the cabin station for a while. The one with the eye patch is quiet. You gather his name is Snipe, and the squirrel one is for the way to go to play here. I'm on the just yet. Just off turn and eat. Now you understand what people don't tend to eat. Oh, turn. Gaining effect. Turn of fuel. Yep. Beautiful. Okay, let's do this. Real quick. Howdy, boys. Deal me in. The one with the eye patch raising an eyebrow at you. Who are you? How'd you get past the thud and soap? What'd you want? It's Bimmy. It's me, Bimmy, your brother. He squints at you. Bimmy. You ain't Bimmy. Uh. I am so, Bimmy. I stole some Rube's face. Ha! You always did have a knack for face wrestling. What's new, Bimmy? We gotta get out of here fast. We gotta get out of here fast, Bimmy. The Pickertons are on to us, and they'll be here any minute. Any minute. Dang, damn it. Come on, Sniper. Let's hightail it. I'll catch up. I'll catch up with you guys later tonight. Whippy nods, he and Sniper turn back and bottom. Congratulate yourself on your attempt to disembedder and strong interpersonal skills. Where are they going though? Did I not get to arrest them? Because they're the bad guys? Yeehaw Dead Eye Level 2. Let's grab the door and skeet at them. Mug on the table, grab it. My mug. My mug. Oh, the frickers are gone, gang. Let's take that haul. 50 meat. It's the shirt's door. Alright. Now I should have everything that is required here. Right? The cool crap off my way. Oh, here. Okay. And we're gonna head back to Boring Springs. No. On second thought, no. I'm not ready to leave. That was, would have been a big mistake. Big mistake. Huge mistake. Howdy. Howdy. Good to see you again, Conrad Framp. You tip your hat to the bartender. You're a knight. You're a great gentleman, sir. I found these mugs. Much obliged. You head in and recover mugs and collect your bounty. Tip your hat to the bartender. I just thought I'd say howdy. Well, then, mission accomplished, I reckon. I'll take my hat and leave. I'll take my, yeah, take whatever my whatever take my leave then all right I see the fricker gang has a put a stop to your breathing did you rescue my cell door you hand the sheriff his door and he hangs it back on its hinges nice work stranger this here prison cell just got a lot about four times more secure 
Are there any fricker games, boys, left for me to round up? Yeah, one or two of them are asleep on the job. I'll go round them up shortly, then. Looks like I owe you a reward. He produces a big bag of meat. You gain 400 meat. Got another task for you. Got the time. Should be a lot simpler than the last one. What you need? Well, the frickers busted the lock when they took the door. Gonna need a new one. I'll keep an eye out. I'll keep an eye out. Uh, I need soap. Oh, and Dicker. How do I get Dicker? Um. Oh wait, I gotta go talk to Susie Cochran too. Can't forget about that. Yeah, pretty. She was out as well up with tears you handed the rifle, and she roughly scrubbed her sleeve across the face before any of them spilled water. Thanks, stranger. I didn't catch your name. Conrad Fram. Thanks, Conrad Fram. Can't rightly say what this means to me. She looks at her rifle for a long moment and looks back up at you. She sighs. Well, that's enough wallowing misery. Time for me to hit the road. If you want to tag along when you head west, if you want me to tag along when you head west, just say the word. Sounds good, Susie. Okay. Now, where do I get more dynamite? How much dynamite do I have? I only have one dynamite. Examine it. Okay, just check it. Is there anything in here? That actually, like... No, okay, there's nothing that I can particularly use. <laughs> what do you say, Pete? Who, me? Well, heck, I say all kinds of things. For instance, the machines can't be trusted no more in a four-flushing four claim jumper. Uh-huh. Pete takes a swig of his whiskey. Pete knows his shiny rock you carry, and his wild eyes light up. That there's a marsh rock, shiny rock you got there, stranger. I'll give you seven me for that rock. Also, grab the rest of Okay, they'll take that old silver nugget off your hands. You're not giving 81 meat for it. So, okay. Unrefined meat ore that you carry. You ain't seem like someone's got use, much use for unrefined ore, stranger. I'll buy it, and I'll, I'll buy it off in here for 73 meat. Sell the ore. I see it. Pete's eyes, Pete's eyes narrow as his gears in his head start to click. He fixes his gaze on you, and the tick in his eyelid seems more pronounced. Listen, kid, all this stuff and what I've been buying from you, you've been spending time underground, ain't you? Will you listen to old Pete's advice? Just stay out of the hole if you know what's good for you. If there's stuff down there in a 40th level that ain't worth messing with for a fellow who wants to keep his eyes if you catch my meaning. Not sure I do, but thanks! He's just like, well, but if I didn't fucking need her. Can I play? Look, I have some meat. Let's play. Bet crazily. Eat all this all in, suckers. Okay, read them and weep. The guy on the left is a full house. Ooh, uh, horn swallow them. You explain that the jacks are worth nine points each, given the guy on the left total 21 points, the guy on the left, you 20 points, and. And on the right, 20, and you're 25 plus the king, and the king represents, oh, hey, look over there. They look, and when you look back, they didn't notice the 10 meat missing from each of their piles. You collect your winnings and stand up. They thank you for helping them learn the game. Oh, no. You gain 60 meat, and I walk away. They don't have any, you know, they don't have enough meat left to bother with. It looks like they're playing for spiders now. Ew. No. No. You're plumbing your depths of the spittoon of your own depravity. You should be able to brave to yourself. I am. I am ashamed and so proud. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud. Very proud. I'm prude. Hello. So, uh, what's up? I mean, what's the matter, Doc? Dead men walking? Oh, yeah, there was a skeleton in the cemetery. 
It's nice to get some outside confirmation that I'm not losing my damn mind. But how is that even possible? It isn't possible. It goes against everything I know about medicine. Dead patients don't just get back up. Patients? Oh, ouch. Doc Alice turns away grimacing. Every doctor loses not one now and again. You never get used to it, but... Well, it happens. But what doesn't happen is them coming back afterward looking for revenge. That must be pretty rough. Rough? Buddy. I don't think you comprehend the situation. It's not just patients. It's neighbors, friends, husbands. Oh, um... Uh, um, indeed. She turns away from you and focuses her attention back on the bottle. Anything else I can do? Uh, wow. Shouldn't this be further away from the fireplace? Do you have any idea what's causing the resurrections? Well, I heard a rumor. It's when you get co incomplete information from... <laughs> anyway, what I heard is that there's a fella out west that's causing it. A necromancer, they call him. Supposedly he's setting magic out into the world somehow. Magic like the bean slingers use? I never heard of any bean slinger raising the dead, have you? That's one hell of a can of beans. Yeah, yeah it is. It's a deal about all TNT. It's so when I feel like I'm about to go, I can blow myself in a bit so there won't be nothing left to come back. That seems drastic. Drastic hell. No way I'm taking the risk of becoming one of those things. Fair enough, I suppose. But hold on. Can I keep, like, about the necromancer? Assuming he exists, what about him? Well, maybe with someone I ought to try to stop him. Doc Alec gives you a sharp look. You? Because I know you ain't talking about me. Why not you? Great hair, old woman that knows much about fighting as a squirrel no surgery. Did you hit your head on a bar stool, kid? You ain't that old. Doc Athel stares at you hard to expect from Bottle saying nothing. And it sounds to me like you got plenty of motivation to get the job done. For your friends and, and everyone. She can you look at you. You can see the gears churning in her head. It beats doing nothing anyway. Beat, beats yourself locking in a house full of TNT and drinking yourself to death. You aren't even doctoring anymore. She winces and looks away. Then she shakes her head slowly. You seriously expect me to ride out by myself chasing a rumor? Doesn't have to be by yourself. I'm heading west too. Tag along with me. Maybe we can find the guy and put a stop to him. It's crazy. Impossible. Possible but like raising the dead is impossible? Alice crosses her arms and regards you thoughtfully. A spark slowly brightens in her eyes. Alright kid. What the hell. Let's give it a shot. Cool. I hope that doesn't like officially make her my partner. I want some dynamite. Don't you have any dynamite? I need three dynamite. I want at least one from you. Because I don't have any soap. Where am I supposed to get soap from? Because he needs soap for a lot. And then I need dicker in. To get the last dynam dynamite. Um, where was I gonna go? I was gonna go somewhere to explore something. Oh yeah, ore hole. We gotta go to orb hole to go to the lower levels of that mine. Yeah, level forty. Wave even nausea to you slide the heavy love off the chest inside there's a hat. It looks evil. And not in any abstract way, it has eyes, and they look like the eyes of a murderer, and it has teeth, which look like the teeth of an animal would be a murderer if animals understood the concept of animals. But put it on. You have a sense of foreboding. Something tells you this is a bad idea. It's me. I'm telling you this is a bad idea. If you put this hat on, you won't ever be able to take it off, and things will be much harder for you. It will be though as if your life is a game, and that game's typically level is greatly increased if you catch my meaning. No, I do not want this. I'm... Dang it. But I only have one dynamite. I want to get more dynamite. I need more dynamite. 
or Diana. Slide along over here and slide along over here. Every to every location. I talked to everyone. I I done everything. I, but I don't I can't I don't know where to find the dynamite and I don't know how to get the lock for the sheriff And I don't want to leave without completing those things But there's nothing I There's nothing I can do I trade my only lock for a needle. I might have only traded my traded my only only lock to get for a needle. That might have been what happened. Uh, that is upsetting. That is very upsetting. But ah, uh, well, I'm gonna call it there. I have uh. Turned to all the mugs that I've found, everything that I've found and done, I've taken it back and done the things and completed it and returned that everything that I can. So, um, I'm gonna call it there. Um, this is gonna be it for this particular episode. Um, in the next episode, though, we're gonna go to Dirtwater. We're gonna actually get the game rolling, begin the actual game, uh, move out of the prologue. Um, so, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoy the content, of course, please like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate it. it does helps me out so much and uh we're gonna get i can't wait to do more of this stuff for you guys so thank you everybody so much for watching and as always fair winds travelers and bye bye